Hey, how's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Hundred. Welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. I don't know where we're going. We still need a key for the cemetery. Ah, and uh, I don't know where we're gonna find a key to the cemetery. To be honest, no one's really given us a hint. But uh, I guess if we keep wandering around and talking to people, eventually we'll figure it out. We joined Video Club Mysterio, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, something's happening. Oh no, it's Hugo. We gotta watch where he goes. That's floor five. Four. He's on four. Let's go. We gotta make sure Kate's alright. Dot Matrix is gone. <gasps> shit. Oh, shit. It's go time. It's go time. I don't want to deal with these guys. We just got to keep an eye out for... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The Kate. Where's Kate going to be? Shit, shit, shit. I think they know I'm here. They're not leaving. Go, go, go. Where the hell are you, Kate? You okay? I don't know, man. Let's go to three. We'll talk to that guy, the IT guy. I do have a thing here he can use. If we can find him. Are you the IT guy? Nope, I can't talk to you at all. Hey dude, good vibes, but don't go near that door. Are you are the IT guy. Look, I just want to talk. You know what that? Nothing there. Okay, those are just for hiding in now. Apparently. Hey, creepy dude. How's it going, Captain Creepo? What do I do? I need that key, goddammit. Yo! Hello, Doshi! Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Put it over there. What? Oh, hey, uh, what's up, dude? I came to see what you're doing around here. You're taking a stroll around the company, aren't you? Well, welcome to Electronics Garbage Paradise, buddy. Here, I fix a little bit of everything. Computers, printers, telephones. I also like to like, collect components for, well, modifying things or doing my experiments, but hey! That's a secret. You work alone? No one helps you? Yeah, well, there used to be more, but between this and that, work-related accidents and the order of the day, you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, perfectly. I don't have much to work to do, actually. Around here, the crowd can't tell a turned-on computer from a turned-off one. I've had no orders accumulated for years, and no one says a word, so I'm by my own business. This company's chaos. I don't know how it's still going. I have a theory that's going to drive you crazy. Want me to tell you? Sure, tell me. First of all, get that old witch stuff out of your head. We're old enough to not go around believing in fairy tales. Look, this is very simple. This company is a machine, and the parts that make it work are the employees. And all that, you follow me? Sort of. For example, imagine you have a... You, that the company is a printer. You have a home. One day it prints out two pieces of paper together. Another day it misprints some data. The next day it spoils some paper. It mixes the files you seem to print. Well, you know, the typical printer moves. Uh-huh. You know the damn thing is freaking out. It's broken or something. So you call your buddy, Doshi, to keep an eye on it and fix it for you. Awesome! But dude, what if there's no owner? If only the printer exists, who says it's broken? All their parts are working. They take paper, they print, they may work oddly, but they work. And that's what's happening to this company, it's broken, it's corrupt. 
but at the same time it's still working, you follow me? Hey, holding up! Well, while you're recovering from astral travel, let's get to the point, man. Besides being a philosopher and fixing things, I also sell some supplies, wanna see? Of course. Cool. I sell these alkaline batteries of the highest quality for 100 beans each. Almost given away! <gasps> I always fix a photocopy, so I collect a few ink cartridges. I can sell them to you for 150 beans each. Mate, sorry, sir. Finally, I have this wonder. This is art and technology fused together in the form of plastic tubes that illuminate for hours and hours. You can carry them in your hand or leave them on the floor and pick them up later. Very useful when you run out of batteries. They cost 125 beans each, but since you're new, I'll give you three. You can try them. You'll love them. Oh, thank you. That'd be great for when I'm trying to navigate each floor. There's so little light in this building. You go around the building a lot? Yeah, I'm always going back and forth. But do you just go for walks or do you search in the drawers and filing cabinets? Well, a little, yeah. Awesome, well then, maybe you can help me. Let's just say I deal with other things besides what you see here. I'm freaking out a little over jewellery I want to fix and, well, I'm looking for pieces all over the building. If you get me one of those pieces, I could give you a good reward. Maybe I have some. What are they like? What are they like? They're matte red plated electronic components. If you bring me one of those pieces, I could give you some really nice stuff. I think I found one of those things. Take a look at it. Electronic piece. Sweet buddy, you really are dope. Here's a reward. Let me see that little flashlight of yours. We'll make a few changes here and there. Good to go. Now you have a bigger, much cooler beam of light. Thank you. Thanks to you, dude. If you find more of those pieces, you know how to give them to. Dot matrix. What are the dot matrices? Or matrixes? Uh, I thought about them for months. In short, they're matrix printers. Yes, but let's see. If you're putting a gun to my head, you know anything about Centricorp's history? Not much, actually. People forget it, but this company is a leading technology company in the 70s before it started to manage and speculate on data. In its day, the sixth floor was full of R&D projects. Multifunction computers, photocopiers, printers, robotics, and even memory scanners. This crowd experimented with all kinds of stuff, but although they registered a handful of prototypes, it never went anywhere. Summarizing, my theory is that a dot matrix is a Centricorp experiment that went wrong. Gossips also say that they originated when one of the scientists who worked on them got his hand caught between the needles and, well, the result of that was obvious. And do you know any tricks to avoid them? Those things are almost blind, but they feel the vibrations of your voice and the, and the ground. Don't run away, unless you have no choice. And another thing, those creepers are in love with ink. Don't forget to take some ink with you. An ink cartridge, but use it if the dot matrices catch you. They'll let you go and leave you alone for a while. That's interesting. Thanks, Doshi. But now where to go? Oh my god, there's a slice of bread down here. Okay, now I got glow sticks, I got a bigger flashlight. I don't know what to do now though. We obviously have to find uh, Kate, but... She must be on floor four. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll check out one of the other floors, actually. Let's check out floor seven. Because we got a tape that we can check out from the Mysterio thing. Mysterio club thingamajiggy. At the moment, I think we're just going to wander around and explore. Because I don't know exactly where we're meant to be going anyway. I still don't have an ink cartridge for that. Hopeless, man. Um, yeah. Seems like a plan? Seems like a plan to me. It's this one, eh? I don't like that. Please stop that. Yeah, let's watch the video. This one? Blood trail. Oh, here we go. This should be interesting. That's a real life video. What is happening? It's running at 1600 frames a second. Ooh. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> what was in this one? I've forgotten. Go away, stop it.
I'd like to know what's in there, to be honest. I really do. I'd really want to know what's in there. I'm sure it's not that bad. Can we reach this? Can I undo that? Yes! Wonder where this goes. Gotta find those secrets, yo! Oh, that's where that goes. I still need another box to be able to do that properly. Maybe I'll talk to Sintra about the, uh, key. Sintra! What's this way? Sintra? Are you swimming in blood? Do you feel up to a swim? The water is so good. What? No, no, thank you. You're boring, Brian. No, no, it's just that I don't... Don't you know how to swim? I know how to swim, okay? When I was little, I almost drowned, and since that time, I prefer to stay as far away from the water as possible. I love it. You don't know what you're missing. And have you ever seen the sea? Well, no, of course not, but I'd love to. It's awesome. I used to go to the beach with my parents every weekend. Your parents? Maybe she's Ray. Ray Sintra. Well, what do you want? I've been all the way to the 8th floor. There's a locked cemetery, but it's almost better this way because I'm not going in there. I don't care about that. No, no, an abs- no, absolutely not. I heard screaming coming from inside the cemetery. That gave me the creeps. I fear the worst. I'm sorry, what did you say? I- that I don't care. I'm not interested. You can stop looking for the witch. What do you mean? I mean thinking, and I think you're right. This whole witch hunter plan doesn't make sense. All the information you've brought to me about the company doesn't add up to much of the information I had. There's something wrong with all of this, and I'm beginning to fear it's me. Why are you saying this now? I don't know. What does it matter? What if I'm corrupt? Corrupt? Nothing. Leave me alone. No, I don't understand anything. What am I supposed to do now? Do what you want, Brian. Do me a favor. Leave me alone. Harsh, man. Brian, leave me alone, will you? No, I will not. What is with the devil blood statue? The statue of a man with horns. He looks like a demon. Hey, that's my cocktail. What's in it? Devil's blood. You're the witch! I'm not going in that pool. I don't like swimming. And also, it's full of blood. You're the witch! You witch! You dirty witch! Alright, I'm leaving. What do I do? What do I do now? She's drinking devil's blood like a witch. She's the witch. I don't know what to do with that information. You know? Maybe I'm just gonna go explore for a while. Okay? And then, uh... Maybe I'll find the key to the other floor or whatever. I don't know. Let's just go do something. Screw it. What's on floor zero? Can we just go home? I'm going home. Seems like I can come and go as I please, but nobody here, nobody's here to stop me. But if I finish my work day, I get a lot of credits. Are you serious? You care more about money? Are you serious? What is wrong with you? This place is insane. Floor one. Let's do some exploring. Oh, water. Oh, this is going to be a good place to stock up on our gear and healing items and shit, I reckon. There's some cheese without anyone's name on it. Should I take it? Yeah, man. Why are you even asking? Toasted sandwich. What else is around here? I feel like I can make an offering here. It's broken. Oh. Dude, we are making so many credits. <gasps> Barcode! It's an empty box of cereal. He wanted barcodes. We just got a barcode. We're gonna take it back to him. According to the company magazine, it's such a cop. You're not an employee. You're a leader. Nice. I love to be a leader. Eat. Eat. Maybe later. Not after seeing all that devil's blood. That's really off-putting for my lunch. Really put me off my lunch, you know. 
I brought such a nice packed lunch too. Help, please, help, please, you're all crazy. Hey, it's Mr. Chapman. Can I help you, Mr. Chapman? Oh, you're over there. Hey, were you asking for help? What? What? Me? Please, man, please. Why did you just go there and rummage through the trash? I'm trying to concentrate on my work. Work? But where exactly? what exactly are you doing here? It's none of your business. You're all moving non-stop, but I don't understand what for. Of course you don't understand with your brain underdeveloped due to malnutrition. In any case, what difference does it make? There must be some confusion. It's obvious this is not my place. Pretty soon I'll be on the top floors of this building, higher than anyone else. Do you know which family I belong to? The family Chapman, no? How could they drag my last name into mud like this? Darn it, if my father saw me now! If you don't want to be here, why don't you change floors? Ah, change floors. What a groundbreaking idea, but how could I do that? The elevator's right there. You think I'm a moron? I know the damn elevator's right there, you think I don't see it? They won't let me go, you douchebag. If I could, I wouldn't be here in this rabble, running around like a chicken without a head. The only way out of here is with a stupid game. What game? It's some kind of absurd test. If you manage to win, your badge is automatically upgraded, and you can move up to the next floor. And you haven't tried yet. Me? Yeah, well, no, it's just... I'm not sure of the rules and... You know, what they say. A businessman never participates in a game without knowing the rules. The Art of War. Sun Tzu. Well, good luck with the game. I'll see you around. Wait! You see, I just had a brilliant idea. You could be in it for me. You could be in it for me, Pastor Nick. Well, I see you remember my name now. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. I'm sure that in the suburbs where you come from, you're used to playing these kinds of poor people's games. What do you say? Will you help me? If you give me a thousand credits. I see you're starting to sound like a businessman. I don't usually deal with farm animals, but I guess everyone has to roll up their sleeves once in a while, no? It's a deal. But I'll only pay you when you win the game. What am I supposed to do? Press that button next to the door. When they ask you who you are, you have to say my name. That's how you get into the game room. Okay. Mr. Chapman. So I'm Mr. Chapman. Okay, please come in, Mr. Chapman. Welcome, Mr. Chapman. The test will begin immediately. Ha oh, hold on. What are the rules? What am I supposed to do? This is an autonomous system. It is the only judge when you have or have not passed the test. I can only tell that you have... You leave the line for more than three seconds, you're disqualified. Ow! God damn, I'm dying out there. Coffee. Yay, I got one. That's good. But some of them hurt me. And I don't I don't really know which one's which. And we're not to leave the line. And we're not allowed to leave the circle for more than three seconds. Ow! Asshole! They hurt a lot, man. Yes! I just gotta wait for them to walk through here. How many of those do I need? Do I just keep going? Ah! Okay. 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 Take it easy. Nice and calm. There's a nice calm slow box dudes. Like that. Ah! That walk in a straight line. The ones that walk on wonky angles hurt me. Ow! Like that. Asshole. I'm wasting coffee here. And like as an avid coffee drinker, I cannot abide wastage of coffee. I really can't. The test is over. Did I lose? We announced that new employee has passed the promotion test. Congratulations, Mr. Chapman. You're now a third floor walk wor worker. Cheater, cheater, cheater. Shut up, you jealous bastards. I bid you farewell, my friends. I'm going to the third floor. It can't be worse than this. 
Hey, you owe me money. Hey, a bigger. This is pocket change for me. <laughs> Pick it up off the floor. They've taken all the credits. There's only an empty cigarette box on the floor. This box has a barcode that takes up almost the entire package. Nice. A sick barcode for us to give to the to the man. What is this? Nothing? What about in here? Get out of my way, you bastards. Batteries? When, when does my flashlight run out of batteries? I've never had to change the batteries yet. Does it change automatically? I don't even know. I don't even know. So we got barcodes that we can take to the, um, the forest goblin or whatever the hell it is. Oh, we might as well check some of these bottom floors first. Oh, three. We've already been to three. Three's the, uh, yeah, this place. Alright, well, I guess we'll check the, uh, floor eight then. We'll head back to, what's his face? We got two barcodes that we can give him now. I don't know how many he wants, but... You know, two's better than zero. Man, this flashlight has got some stonking ass power now. Oh, it would have been better to go from... To take the shortcut. Oh well, never mind. We know how to do this pretty well now. Pretty well, not perfectly. There's a difference. There's a big difference. Alrighty. Oh, shit, 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 shitty balls. I'm just gonna sneak around here. Get back to the forest goblin. Give him a couple of barcodes and then hopefully that will... Maybe he'll give me a key. We'll try the cigarette one because it was a little bit harder to get. So I think it's probably more important. I think I have a barcode. Okay, you gave him the cereal box automatically. Let me lick this his barcode a little bit. Ah, mm, I see. This code corresponds to the magic of poisonous gas. That contract you see lying on the stone will allow you to breathe in toxic environments full of farts. I can make you a copy if you give me two witch papers as hostages. Hostages? I think I have a barcode. I found this box of cigarettes. It has a really big barcode. Stop smoking cigarettes, past Tanaku. It is extremely bad for your hearing. No, no, I don't smoke. Don't smoke your cigarettes. Then what do you eat? What do you do? Eat them? What? No. Let me sniff that barcode. You give the box of cigarettes to the goblin. Ah, I feel the power of my two friends, Nico and Tyne. This valuable, valuable is very contract. What's it for? If you buy it, it will aid to breathe underwater. It's price is three witch papers. Nice. I'll buy that for two witch papers. And I'll buy this for three witch papers. And I'll buy witch papers with cheese. Alright. Not too bad. Not too... We can now breathe underwater. We can breathe fart gas, which gives us way more area we can check out. I don't know about the underwater one yet. I don't think I remember seeing water, but... Still, pretty handy, and we've still got a bunch of witch papers that we can use to, to save. Which we're going to have to do right now, because we're out of time for today. But yeah, I'm very interested into seeing what we can find when we go into the fart areas of, of the building. That's pretty exciting, man. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out for me, and I'll see you in the next one.